Other videos in this series illustrate how you can place multiple fields in the rows area, the columns area, or the filters area, and it is very common to do so. You can also place multiple fields in the values area, as discussed in the current video. This is easy to do, but many users are not aware of the options I will show here. Starting from the online purchase date you have seen before, I have built a pivot table that breaks down total spent by customer region and customer gender. I will now drag another numeric variable, items purchase, to the values area. The layout you see here is the default. For each region, you see two columns for females, then two for males, and then two for totals over genders. However, there is a subtle change in the fields pane you might have missed. Not only is the new field shown in the values area, but another new values item appears in the columns area the one with the summation sign. This item can be dragged to get a variety of layouts, and you can choose the one you like best. First, I can move it above customer gender in the columns area. Now the two total spent columns are adjacent, as are the two items purchased columns. Second, I can move it below customer region in the rows area. Now there is a breakdown in each region for each numeric field with totals at the bottom. Third, I can move it above customer region in the rows area. This is similar. Or I can move it back to the default. Also, the ordering of the two items in the values area can be changed by dragging. However, the changes here are not as dramatic. You can have more than two fields in the values area, with any of the layouts just shown, but the pivot table begins to get quite busy and hard to read. If you really need all of this information, it is probably better to create two or more pivot tables. Also, you can have two versions of the same field in the values area, but summarized in different ways. And again, you can use any of the layouts just shown. As an example, I will show sums of total spent and averages of total spent arranged in the default layout. Or you could try this layout. So remember that if you want to summarize more than one numeric field in the values area, or if you want to summarize the same field in more than one way, a number of layouts are possible. And you can experiment by dragging the values button, the one with the summation sign, to discover the layout you prefer.